My name is Maha Al Musa and I've been teaching belly dance for birth for the last 10 years. In my culture, I'm of Palestinian Lebanese background, it's a very important dance for women and it is a dance of the feminine and it has been known to be a dance of conception, a dance of fertility and a dance many long years ago it started off in pregnancy. In pregnancy, most of the attention is around the hips, the pelvis, the baby and the belly. But on a deeper spiritual level, it's about a woman coming to terms with her femininity, with the mother within herself. And belly dancing beautifully combines the physical and the spiritual and the emotional. And so when we dance in pregnancy, we are connecting our physical body, that is our hips, our pelvis and our baby, with our story, with our personal story, with our emotion. And what comes from that is the journey toward motherhood. It just makes sense. Moving the pelvis in circular motion, the figure eight movements, the rocking of the hips, all of these movements actually mimic the movements of labor. Sometimes women can be a little bit intimidated when they first hear about belly dance for pregnancy and birth. They think they've got to come out and do this incredible dance for an audience. And I tell them it's not, the audience is not out there, the audience is within. It is you and your baby. It's not about cabaret or performing for somebody else. It's an intimate dance for the self, the dance of the womb, the dance for you and your baby, a dance to connect yourself with the beauty and the blossoming that occurs in pregnancy. And so many women that I teach, after they've had their babies and they've described how they've used the movements in labour, that it really makes sense to them, that it's a really relevant birthing exercise and preparation. Often I see many women who've become disconnected from that aspect of the feminine, from that aspect of the primal brain when it comes to pregnancy and giving birth. And I really see belly dancing as drawing those two together, connecting primal brain and the modern women, and shaking hands once again with the feminine. It's beautiful. And really, it does not matter where you are when you use these belly dance for birth movements in labour. It doesn't matter whether you're at home, whether you're in a hospital, whether you're standing out in a field, wherever you are, these movements are accessible to you. When a contraction starts in labour, as you move your pelvis in slow circular motion, you are moving with the contraction, with the sensation, with the pain, with the wave of the contraction, not against it. By moving with gravity, if you remain upright, you're moving with gravity. It also helps, the movements help the baby's head to be massaged down onto the cervix. So in that way of the circling of the hips and the pelvis, the baby's head gets pushed down onto the cervix to help to thin and dilate the cervix. Hand in hand, they work together. So instead of feeling tensed and locked up, when a contraction comes, it's a matter of opening and surrendering and moving into it. And belly dance movements, those circular movements, the rocking of the hips, the figure eight movements, they work with and into the contraction rather than against it. You can drape yourself over your partner and drop into the contractions, letting all your weight go and keeping upright, moving with gravity. You can lean against a table, lean against a chair, against a wall, even in a birthing pool, leaning against the edge of the birthing pool and keep on rocking the hips, circling the pelvis and moving into the contraction. It's very simple. The key word is simplicity and you know what to do. Your body knows how to give birth. Always remember that. Mm -hmm.